Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I'm so happy to bring you the reveal of the Tim Holtz Stamp Temper 2023 collaboration. We have a bundle for you and I'm going to start off with the cling stamps. These are so cute. They have that retro feel and it has all the iconic images that you need. You have a wreath, stockings, a snowman, a great Santa, and then also little messages that you can pair with that. These are on red rubber cling, so you can just peel those apart. And if you like to, you can weed your entire piece and then replace it back onto the plastic or keep that outer edge around just to keep everything in place. As part of the bundle, you'll also receive two stencils. They are stars and snowflakes, and these are really great to use as your backgrounds. And to go with those, we're also including some small jars of the new Tim Holtz Glow Paste and Sparkle Paste. And as a surprise, Simon Says Stamp has come up with a die set that you can purchase separately, and this fits all the iconic images for the stamp set. To get going on my project, I am going to be stamping the Santa, the wreath, the stockings, and the presents onto some white cardstock, and I'll be using the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink since I'll be coloring these in with Copic markers. To save a little time, I have colored my images with my Copic markers. I will have these listed for you in the description box below if you'd like to follow the same color patterns. I also die cut these using the coordinating dies from Simon Says Stamp. For the base of my project, I'm using the small etc. tag from Tim Holtz, and I'm going to be coloring this with three colors of blue paint. So I have chosen salvage patina, tumbled glass, and also speckled egg distress paints. I'm using my glass mat and I'm putting the paint right onto the glass and using that as a palette. And I'll paint right onto the tag without any prep and I'm just going in an up and down motion. As I go, I'll start introducing some of the other blues and I'll just be painting these randomly over the top and blending them together. And then once it's about completely covered, I can go back in and add other stripes of my colors. Once my paint was dry, I went in with the sparkle paste from Tim Holtz, and this is part of the bundle. And I have my stencil taped down onto my project, and I'm working the paste through the stencil with a palette knife. With the design of this stencil, it's really easy to do my dismount and then move it to another place onto my project without having to do any cleanup in between. This paste dries clear with a really nice sparkle in the image. I have a piece of corrugated paper from my stash and I'm going to be gluing this just to the bottom of my big tag. And I've cut it about two inches. Also, I've cut it to the width of the tag, which is six inches. And I'll be using Simon's stamp glue to put this down. This will give me a nice base for my fireplace scene and also a place to put my letters at the end. Next, I've used the mini brickwork embossing folder from Tim Holtz and I've cut out two panels. These measure about two and a half by four inches. I'm going to be coloring these a little bit with some Simon Says Stamp flannel ink just to give the bricks some dimension. To construct my fireplace, I'm cutting one of the panels in half and these will sit behind the front panel. Next, I'm adding some foam tape on each side of the front panel just on the edges. And then I'll hand cut a fireplace opening square and I'll use those foam tape strips as my guide. With my fireplace opening cut out, I have my foam tape exposed on the outer piece and I'm using the grid lines of my glass mat to make sure I have everything lined up. And next I'm adding some foam tape in that open area of the fireplace so that everything will sit flat. I've added an additional layer of foam tape on each of those pieces and also on the back piece. And here I can just add a piece of slate cardstock to fill in the fireplace area. I've cut a thin strip of the corrugated and right now I'm adding this to the top of each of the pieces of my fireplace to make a faux mantle. And now I can remove the rest of the backing of that foam tape and I can place this right onto my piece. 
I've die cut the Tim Holtz trim a tree die cuts and I've just used various colors of green paper and the size of this goes really well with the size of the stamp so it will sit just to the left of my fireplace with a few foam squares on the back and a few onto my project I can remove the backing and stick this down in place I am allowing a little bit of that to hang over. I do like how that looks. If you don't, you can just clean that up with your scissors and make it flush with your project. And now I'm ready to decorate my piece with all of my stamped images. I am using some foam squares behind those pieces so that they pop up from the background. Next, I'm using the Joy from the Big Tidings from Tim Holtz. And to cut that out, I am using his Sparkle Craft Stock. I'm going to modify this a little bit and I'm going to cut through and remove the J and the Y so I can place my reindeer wreath in between and replace that as an O. And to put an extra greeting at the bottom, I'm using the Tim Holtz Santa greetings for the letters and I've cut out the words Merry Wishes. And to glue those down, I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue, and I'm just adding dots to each of the letters. And I'm starting from the outside and working towards the center so I can have everything lined up. The corrugated really did make it easy so that I could measure out the letters. I made a few modifications. I did add red paper behind the joy and some sprigs of green. And I also added some gemstones to my green tree. I hope you've enjoyed this reveal and inspiration of the exclusive Stamp Temper 2023 collaboration from Tim Holtz. Remember, this is a limited edition and will only be available while supplies last. Be sure to check the links down below in the description box for the supplies used on this project, how to purchase this collaboration, and also a link to our blog post with additional inspiration. Happy Stamp Temper and thanks so much for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.